Uh, my name is Jackie Armour. I'm 24 years old. I'm 189 centimeters. Um, I'm a middle blocker or central. Uh, that basically means I'm the person in the front row trying to block every ball, hitting the quick balls from the setters. I was born in South Bend, Indiana, but I moved to Bradenton, Florida when I was less than a year old. Um, so I grew up in Florida basically my whole life. I love Florida. Um, I played volleyball from the time I was seven or eight years old. Uh, grew up, eventually I went to college. I played in college um, where I studied finance and statistics. When I was in high school, I played in club in uh, Florida. And then in college, I was at, in Louisiana for three years at Louisiana State University, LSU. And then my senior year, I went to college in Indiana. I did volleyball, basketball, weightlifting, and I threw for track and field when I was all in high school. So, yeah. My family, we love sports. My mom was a swimmer in college and my dad was a basketball player in college, so we like to do everything we can. Uh, my sister played volleyball in college, my older sister, and my little sister is playing in college right now. My little brother played, but he didn't decide to play in college, so. I've just, I grew up doing sports. I don't really know what life would be like not playing sports, so it's just normal for me. It's my life. I played for two colleges. I played for LSU for three years, and then I played for Indiana University for one year. And then last year, I played my first professional season in Sweden for Hilti Halmstad. And then now I'm here in Sunday. Um, well, I heard France was a really good league and a cool country to play in, and I wanted to, you know, just keep increasing the league's competitiveness that I'm playing in. I just want to keep playing for better and better leagues, and this was the great next step for me. So I'm glad I ended up here. We're doing really good, so I'm happy. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely what we've played. It's been more consistently, like, more consistently competitive teams, where it's not like one good team and then one bad team, and then one good team and then one bad team. It's like, for the most part, all of the games are fairly competitive, which I like. Um, I mean, everybody's been really welcoming. It's a pretty easy team to like be on, and everybody's friendly. Nobody really fights, which is super nice. It's pretty rare for teams, and uh, they've just been really friendly. Um, I think it's stressful moving anywhere where you don't know anybody, especially a different country. So I think once you get over that initial shock of like, I'm in another new country all by myself, after that first month, it's fine. Everybody's nice, so I, for me, it's just have fun and play volleyball. I, this is a pretty unique team for me because it's the most I've played with girls who are older and way more experienced than some of us. And I think it's really cool because we get such a mix of like younger people with like a lot of energy and stuff like that. And also like the more experienced players who are just level, like they're gonna be the same day in, day out. Like you can count on them consistent. So it's really interesting and I think it works really well that we have like such a good mix and it's a pretty even mix of younger players and more experienced players, so. I mean, I want to win. <laughs> the only goal there is is to win, of course. I thought it was really cool. I'd never like done any, like we have done like some breast cancer awareness things back in the States like that, but I hadn't ever heard of like selling their jersey and then like the 
benefits going to whatever foundation. I thought that was really cool. And I told my sister and my family about it. And my sister was like, that's so smart. Maybe we'll do that with our team next year. So maybe I brought it back to the States, who knows? <laughs> Uh, I just want to play volleyball for as long as I can, honestly. It's a great way for me to get to travel the world and experience a bunch of different places. And I just, I love playing, so I just want to play for as long as I can. Honestly, I want to play everywhere. <laughs> I kind of want to just do like one year everywhere so I get to see as much of the world as I can. Um, I really want to play in Spain and Italy, those are just two, outside of volleyball, those are two cultures that I really think I would enjoy being immersed in. So maybe Portugal, I don't know. We'll see, We're, we'll see where life takes me. I don't really know yet. I'm pretty much open to anything. <laughs> Whatever I end up doing, even if I'm not playing anymore, I think it'll still be involved in the volleyball or sports world, whether it's coaching or I don't know, maybe being an agent when I'm done playing, I think that would be really cool. There's a lot of possibilities and opportunities outside of just playing still within the sport, so I probably will try to go down one of those paths. Oh gosh, both? <laughs> I like them both. I wanna go back to blonde, but I loved being the purple. I still have a little bit, I need to do more purple. Uh, I really don't like the monster cheese. I think it's gross, so <laughs> fish tacos. T-shirt, shorts, tennis shoes, yeah, for sure. Not touch on this? Uh, maybe twice a year. I do like dressing up, but most days, t-shirt, shorts. With my family. It's super fun because everybody's so competitive. We go out and we play volleyball at the beach or spike ball. Like, we love doing outdoorsy stuff and we're always very competitive. It's always, everybody's trying to win. We don't care. We're not nice to each other. <laughs> Florida Beach for sure. I love the beach. I miss the beach so much. <laughs> Uh, uh, merci beaucoup, fan de Sunday de Vosage. Allez, les loups.